morning from what is this in Agua Key? Great Guana Key. We're in the Abacos and we're going to talk about something that's going to sound a little boring at first but I'm telling you this is one of the most important skills to master on a boat. Not just to save your boat from getting damaged but also to save your marriage so that you're not yelling back and forth. We see folks with these little walkie-talkie headsets and all these things on and it's just not necessary if you've got the right communication using hand signals. So one basic difference between pulling anchor or deploying the anchor on a monohull and a lot of catamarans is the catamaran actually stows the chain and the anchor gear, the ground tackle, back from the bow. Not all catamarans are like this, but a lot of catamarans, you are deploying and retrieving the anchor from about 10, 12 feet back from the bow. What that means is you better be heading straight towards the anchor or straight back away from the anchor as you're letting it out or pulling it in because if you get sideways, you're gonna scrape your chain against the hull and mess up that really expensive bottom job. So, we're just gonna go through a very typical retrieval of the anchor. Conditions are not too wild out here. Of course, it's way harder when it's windy and there's big waves, but uh, when that's going on, we don't wanna film anything. So, let's get to it. now. I have lost the transmission on our other two boats uh, a couple of times. So now I'm a little bit superstitious and I always check my transmissions, both forward and reverse before we go anywhere. It's much easier to fix your transmission while you're at anchor or tied to the dock than after you've let the lines go. All right, let's get to it. You ready to go, honey? Yeah. And notice Megan's putting on gloves. Great idea to have some hand protection. These chains, even if they're fairly new, are not finished, so uh, uh, you can easily hurt your hands if you had to grab something. All right, there's the signal, let's go. Megan's going to be pointing to the direction of the chain. Not necessarily where the anchor is, but the direction of the chain to help me keep the bows pointed in the same direction and not let us get sideways. So that's her signal to stop. You can see our speed is about a knot. So I'm going to give it a little shot of reverse so that we don't go too far. Again, Megan's pointing towards the chain. I need to go to starboard, so I give the port engine a bit of a rev. You know, these catamarans, especially when you're going slow, it's kind of just like pushing a shopping cart. You want to go to the right, you push on the left a little bit. So notice my speed is staying really low. I like to keep it between a half knot and a knot. And, you know, Megan might be a little frustrated with how slowly the uh, boat is moving, but it helps me stay in control so that we don't get out of hand. One more forward, a little extra on the port engine. That's your sign for 30 feet left. We've got uh, 10 more meters of chain to come up. Head to starboard a little bit. Now, the closer we get to the anchor, the more critical my maneuvering is going to be. So I'm going to slow us down. We're going about a knot. All right. I went a little too fast, too far. So we got to back up a little bit. Again, trying to stay into the wind. It means I can spin the boat a little bit, watching my speed. You notice the, the wind is coming off our port side a little bit. All right. Anchor is up. Now, sometimes the anchor will be... The anchor uh, can come up backwards. And if that happens, it just helps to give the boat a little shot of reverse, and the flow of water across the anchor will help to spin it around the right direction. Just cinching everything up, and we'll be ready to go.
We are free from the bottom. All right, so we let you off the hook for that boring little passage. Let's deploy the anchor. Um, there's not a lot to it, but again, with a leopard catamaran and a lot of modern charter cats, the anchor is actually deployed from a roller that is aft of your bow. Um, on this boat, it's about 12, 15 feet aft of the bow. So that means that the chain is coming out between the hulls. So it's really important that I point the boat up into the wind and that we back down without getting the boat sideways to the wind. So Megan is just patiently waiting for me to give the sign that we're ready to drop. I'm gonna tell her how much water we're in, and then I'm gonna say, uh, or we're gonna confirm with each other where we're going to hook the bridle onto the anchor chain. So we're just gonna meander up here a little bit further. I think this is a pretty decent spot. So our depth, let me take a quick shot of this. Our depth is 7.4 feet. Now that's measured under the keels, and our keels are 4.5 feet deep. So let's do the math real quick. We're, we've got about 11 feet of water. In calm conditions, you can get away with about five to one scope. Um, you have to take into account the fact that the anchor is being deployed about four feet off the water. So 15 feet times, let's say five, let's go with at least 75 feet of chain. So this is where Megan usually asks me, how much? How much? How much chain, she says. Let's hook it at 90. Are you ready? I'm ready, you? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So I uh, point it up into the wind and I wanna go backwards, but not too fast. So you can see our speed over ground is, you know, about a half a knot. So occasionally I'll spin the boat a little bit, keep pointing to the wind. A lot of times when you're drifting back like this, she'll get a little too speedy. Megan just gave me the sign to stop the boat from moving backwards okay. so that she can hook the bridle. So now I back down a little bit further. If I'm not going back fast enough, the chain is the chain hook is going to slip off and we'll have to rehook the bridle. So the trick is to go just fast enough and I think between half a knot and a knot is fast enough. Too slow and that chain hook may fall off too fast and it's gonna get yanked out of Megan's hands. So we're all hooked up. Megan's giving me the thumbs up. I'm gonna back us down. So I'm gonna go fairly slowly at first, give that, that anchor a chance to hook into the bottom. And then I'm gonna power up to dig it in a bit. So we're going about a knot. See if I can feel that anchor snug up. And there we go, get a thumbs up for Megan. See how the anchor chain is going straight off the bow. And if I was worried about setting the anchor, which I'm not really, not in these conditions, I'd back down at maybe 2000 RPM. I think we're safe though. Good job, honey. Really not a lot to it. Keep the bow into the wind, back straight down. Don't let the, go the boat get uh, cockeyed to the wind. And you should be in good shape. Megan's got something to add. Come give us your notes, honey. That camera, well, the boat on. Okay. Okay, so it's really critical when I'm letting the chain, I put the bridle on and I'm holding the rope that connects the bridle to the chain hook. It's really critical that I keep tension on that most of the way out so that it doesn't slip off and we kind of have to start over at that point. 
so that it doesn't slip off and we have to pull it back up and start over. So I hate that when that happens. So keeping a lot of tension and letting that rope out and letting about 30 feet of chain out, that's when I know we're safe. It's not gonna pull on the chain when we back down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> The key is, the key is with hand signals, keep it simple. Okay, what are the, what are the hand signals you need to know? Okay, stop. Okay, back up. 30, we got 30 feet left. And then just point, just follow my arm.